A neighborhood coming together today for a block party just days after tragedy. You may remember earlier this week, a quadruple shooting left one person dead and three others injured at a home near 22nd and Center. Well, tonight our Jessica Maduker shares more on how the community is now banding together. Ryan, this annual block party here near 22nd and Center was already scheduled prior to the Wednesday quadruple shooting that left one person dead and three others injured. While this week has been far from easy for this community, they shared that it's important now more than ever to come together. Matching in green t-shirts, these neighbors banding together after a devastating week. One of the things about the Black Party is finding strength in each other, and this is a time for us to come together even more. Mallory Douglas lives doors down from where the quadruple shooting happened Wednesday night near 22nd and Center. She considered canceling their sixth annual event, but... In canceling it, then we have people even probably further away from each other. This close-knit community has relationships that go back more than 50 years. The victims hurt in the shooting were embedded in this neighborhood. They raised us. We were all families. Our mothers stuck together. We also have a moment of silence. We have a prayer for those who have passed on. So in light of everything that has happened in the midst of the adversary. Police say a gunman opened fire at a family gathering Wednesday, killing Shirley Mallory and injuring three others who are still in the hospital. Simultaneously, a fire broke out nearby associated with the gunman. It was very devastating for everybody. We've had all kinds of emotions. The phones have been ringing nonstop, but the strength is in within us in coming together. As they still begin to process why this happened, they know staying together is crucial for the neighborhood. We find strength in each other. Police shared there is still a suspect at large. However, they have yet to share their identity, but say they know who they are looking for. Reporting in Milwaukee, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.